an interesting question came up that how to generate a scree plot for hierarchical clustering using r my internet search says that there is no straight forward answer to this particular question but i found a way to develop that let me demonstrate the same to you for that i am going to use this data which has going to have three field p name physics score math score let me show you the data so this data obviously has name physics score and math score and this data has been taken in such a way that the moment you develop hierarchical clustering you can easily get three clusters if you look at these three are similar group then these three and then these three let's now develop hierarchical clustering on this for that i'm going to take second and third column which are the numeric column and find the distance here so i have got the distance if you look at it is giving you the distance and it is populated lower half only because obviously distance between 2 to 2 is 0 3 to 3 is 0 also what is the distance between 4 to 3 it's same as distance between 4 to 3 that's why it is not populated here and it's not required also because lower triangle itself is sufficient to give you the distance let's develop the hierarchical clustering on this so i got the hierarchical clustering now how do you develop a scree plot on that or how do you know that what is the sequence of combining the most general method is to develop dendrogram and you can take a look at the dendrogram dendrogram itself is telling you that okay first probably p and q is getting combined and then x y however you can easily get confused that which is getting combined quickly one thing is pretty clear that it is saying that these three look similar then these three and then these three and there is the moment you combine these two the variance is changing a lot if you look at in dendrogram this is giving you the within group variance a general method which is most recommended method is that what you do you develop border so right now if you take eight clusters if you look at in the beginning you have all nine data points as cluster so within group variance is obviously zero the moment you take eight clusters what it is doing it is giving you that first time it has combined p and q if you look at all other are individual data point you can clean it by this method and then you can develop rectangle again so you cleaned it you develop a rectangle again around the object and now you know that first time it was pq next time it is xy so you can know how it is combining dendrogram itself is sufficient to tell you that you should go for just three cluster solution but if at all the question comes how to develop a scree plot for this let me explain you so what you need to understand fit has many things and one of the that is height now if you look at what is this height it is actually giving you that okay the moment you combine first time what is the height that is 7.7 if you look at that's what it is saying 7.07 the moment you combine the next it is 9.22 the moment you combine third one which obviously will be ab will be let me see which is the third one so by this method this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one this height is it is giving you 10.44 so it is giving you how the with, and if you look at the way i said you this height represents the within sum of within sum of variance of the clusters so when all the nine data points were there the within sum of variance were zero the moment you combined some variance occurred with the moment you combined some variance occurred can we plot it obviously when the height is available we can plot it let me show you a round about way so obviously when there is height equal to let me put 0 first time and what i am going to do 2 to 9 i am taking i minus 1 so when i am saying i equal to 2 i am actually taking fit 1 when i am saying i equal to 3 i am taking fit value 2 so i generated a an array 
a vector. So if you look at, I generated 1 to 9, 0, 7.07, 9.22, whatever you are seeing here came here. Now I can actually plot, you know, 1 to 9 dendrogram height, I can say like this. So if you look at, it is saying you the sequence of merging and this is the sequence where obviously the variance started becoming huge. So this is giving you, however, there is other way, like if you look at the moment you combined first one, it gave you 8 cluster. The moment you combined second one, it gave you 7 clusters. So we can do other way also, like we can say, we can plot 9 to 1 and we can say that this time when there is one cluster, all objects are one, you created two cluster, you created three clusters and how it is changing. And obviously it is saying you that this is the place where you should stop. So if you look at, we found a roundabout way of developing cluster, developing a scree plot for hierarchical clustering using R.